Layla's quest for courage. The whistles whisper. Once upon a time, in a cozy barnyard bustling with life, there lived a spirited lamb named Layla. Her snowy fleece glowed in the sunlight, and her curious blue eyes sparkled with excitement. Around her neck, she wore a tiny bell that jingled happily with each hop she took. The barnyard was a haven of joy, with chatty farm animals and whispering haystacks that shared secrets in the breeze. Layla, though brimming with curiosity, had a secret worry that sometimes made her heart beat fast. You see, Layla felt uneasy around spiders. It wasn't their fault, and she knew they meant no harm, but her little heart would flutter whenever she saw one. This fear meant she often missed out on the best games of hide-and-seek in the dark corners of the barn. Jasper, the wise old donkey with his soft gray fur and kind brown eyes, was always there to lend a helping hoof. Lila, my dear, he would say with a smile in his eye, you're not alone in this. Many have felt the way you do, yet found a way to feel calm. I wish I could be brave like Charlie the Chick, who isn't scared of high places anymore, Layla thought to herself. She knew deep down that she could find the bravery to face her fears, just like Charlie did. Layla wanted to explore every part of the barn without worry, to feel the thrill of discovery without the shadow of fear. Yet the thought of running into a spider held her back, making her tiny heart feel heavy. In a soft voice to herself, Layla said, I know I can be brave. I've crossed the stream with its flowing water and never felt scared. Why do spiders make me feel so different? One sunny afternoon while playing tag with Jasper, Layla found something strange in the hay. It was a tiny silver whistle, shining like a star fallen from the sky. What's this? Layla asked with interest. Why, it's a whistle, Jasper said with a laugh. What did the sheep say to the grass? Nice gnawing you. They looked at the whistle closely and saw a secret message engraved in a spiral. Find the magic beneath the ancient oak and find the bravery you often think of, Layla read out loud, her voice quivering with excitement. Another message, even more of a puzzle, said, The world needs your bravery, for without it, the barn's joy is just a shadow. Jasper's eyes lit up with understanding. This is a quest, Layla. A quest for bravery. Layla felt a surge of hope. Could this journey help me make friends with the spiders? She wondered, feeling a little brave whisper inside her. With a feeling of shared adventure, Layla and Jasper began their quest. They sang as they went. Over hills, under trees, we search for the magic that makes hearts free. Their bond was strong, shown in their supportive chat. We're in this together, Layla, Jasper encouraged. Who knows what wonders we'll find? As they traveled, Layla's mind was full of hope and worry. What if we meet spiders on our way? But I must try, for the barnyard's happiness and my own peace, she bravely thought. The path wound through the fields, taking them to a fork in the road. Which way to the ancient oak? The answer wasn't clear until the silver whistle around Layla's neck began to glow softly. It made a gentle sound, and the noise seemed to point in the direction of the left path. Trusting the whistle's lead, Layla and Jasper turned left, starting the next part of their adventure, their hearts excited by the promise of beating fears and finding inner strength. And so, the journey to the old oak tree and to the heart of bravery went on. Encounters in the Enchanted Garden Following the gentle light of the silver whistle, Layla and Jasper walked through the sunlit meadow, listening to the music of nature. They arrived at a beautiful garden, where flowers moved in the breeze and bees buzzed with their busy tunes. The bright flowers were like a colorful blanket spread under the sky. Look, Jasper, how pretty it is here, Layla said, with joy in her eyes. Yes, indeed, Layla, each flower and leaf is part of nature's beautiful picture, Jasper said, his voice as calm as a whispering tree. In the middle of the garden, they met a butterfly named Flora with wings that looked like shining gems. Hello, Layla and Jasper. What makes you visit my flowery place? Flora danced around them beautifully. We're looking for bravery, 
Layla said, her bell ringing softly. Flora nodded. Ah, the journey of the heart. You know, I used to be scared too, inside my cocoon. But then I learned that just like me, spiders have their own little world, and they're small and gentle. Layla listened, feeling a bit better. That's lovely, Flora. But how did you get so brave? Flora landed on a flower and said quietly, I watched the spiders make their webs, making pretty shapes that sparkled in the sun. They're artists, and they help us by catching bothersome flies. Layla's curiosity grew. Maybe spiders aren't scary, she thought. The silver whistle around her neck shone, as if it agreed with her new way of thinking. Suddenly, a shadow covered the garden. Kali, the black crow, flew down, cawing in a scary way. Why bother with spiders? They're creepy and crawly. Layla shook but remembered Flora's words. Spiders are part of nature, small and interesting, she said bravely, standing still. The crow laughed but flew off, leaving Layla feeling a bit braver. Flora smiled. You're braver than you think, Layla. With more bravery, Layla and Jasper thanked Flora and kept going on their quest. The garden gate opened with a creak showing a path with golden sunflowers that seemed to nod as if to say, well done. Lessons by the laughing stream. They went to a twinkling stream, where the water danced over stones, sharing old secrets. Here, they met a frog named Felix, who said hello with a friendly sound. Hello, travelers. What's the news from the meadow? Felix asked, his green skin shining. We're looking for bravery, Jasper said, his eyes bright like the water. Felix laughed. Ah, bravery can be in even the smallest things. You see, I was once scared of the moving water, but then I saw the water spiders. They skip across the top, never going under. They taught me that even tiny things can beat their fears. Layla's heart was full of hope. Water spiders sound wonderful, she said, amazed. They are, Felix agreed and they show us that we can be friends with spiders and with all of nature. Spiders are amazing, Layla thought, feeling the silver whistle warm on her wool. Kali came back, his wings making ripples on the water. Silly lamb, spiders are just trouble. But Layla, encouraged by Felix's story, replied, Spiders are clever and useful, and I'm learning not to be scared of them. The crow, Surprised by her courage, left again. Layla's bravery was growing, like a plant in spring. Happy with the lesson, they said goodbye to Felix, and the stream showed them the way to their next stop. A gentle wind took them to a calm clearing, where the air smelled of trees and the soft sound of an owl could be heard. Twilight wisdom in the glade. An owl named Olivia sat on a branch, her feathers as gray as the evening. Good evening, Lila and Jasper. What understanding do you look for under the soft moon? Olivia's eyes were warm, like dark sweets. We're looking for bravery, Layla said, as certain as the night star. Olivia nodded wisely. I've seen many nights and watched the spiders spin their webs with care and skill. They remind us that we're all connected in life. Layla thought about Olivia's words. I am a brave explorer, she spoke softly, feeling the truth inside her. As they talked, Kali came back, his presence a dark spot in the peaceful clearing. Give up, little lamb. You'll never be brave enough. But Layla, given strength by Olivia's knowledge, said, Nature is full of wonderful animals, and I am part of it. I won't be scared. The crow, beaten by Layla's spirit, disappeared into the night. Layla's bravery was as bright as the stars. After thanking Olivia, the clearing showed a path to the ancient oak. Its branches spread out like wise old arms, welcoming them closer. As they got to the great tree, the ground sparkled, and a charm came up from the earth. It was a spider, made from silver, its legs twisted in a beautiful web. Layla picked up the charm, and the silver whistle became normal again. I can be friends with spiders, she said quietly, her worry going away like mist in the morning. Jasper smiled, proud of what Layla had done. 
You found the bravery you were looking for, he said. The ancient oak moved its branches as if saying, Well done, and a path showed the way back to the barnyard. Layla's heart was full of happiness, her fear replaced with excitement and respect for the little animals that lived in her world. They got back to the barnyard, their hearts higher, and their quest done. Layla looked at the spider charm, now a sign of her trip and the bravery she had inside. The barnyard's joy was not a shadow, but a light from Layla's heart. Homecoming and a new beginning. With the silver spider charm safe in her wool, Layla and Jasper went home. The barnyard was happy to see them, the animals coming round to hear about their trip. We've found the magic of being brave, Layla told them, her voice clear and strong. I knew you could do it, Jasper said, his eyes shining with pride. As they stepped into the warm barn, Layla felt changed, lighter, somehow. I can be friends with spiders, she remembered, hearing the tune of the silver whistle. The barn was just as they had left it, but to Lila it seemed different. The hay was golden in the late sun. The cows' sounds were like they were saying hello, and even the dark places seemed less scary. It's nice to be home, Layla said, her bell making a happy sound. I'm proud of you, Layla, Jasper said gently. You've grown up so much. Layla's wool seemed to puff up with pride. Spiders have their own little space, just like I do, she thought to herself. Most spiders are small and gentle. I am part of nature, full of incredible animals, and I am brave, she thought happily. Life in the barn went on, and Layla would often hum a cheerful song. Even when a spider crossed her way, she only stopped for a moment. Remember, they are interesting animals, she told herself, and with a small nod, she continued happily. One day, as she explored upstairs in the barn, Layla saw a cobweb in the corner. Her heart jumped a little, but she took a deep breath. Hello there, little spider, she said kindly. You're just doing your work, aren't you? The spider stopped, as if saying hello back and then kept on with its dance across the web. Layla felt a wave of joy. She was really not scared anymore. Now, Layla was often seen with her head in the flowers or watching the bees and spiders at work. Jasper would sometimes find her chatting with the tiny animals, her eyes full of curiosity and amazement. One sunny afternoon, a little lamb named Timmy came to Layla, looking scared. I saw a spider, and it was scary he said softly. Layla sat next to him. Spiders might seem different at first, but they're really quite amazing, she explained. They catch flies and make beautiful webs. You can watch them from afar and see how they fit into our big, great world. Timmy looked at Layla, feeling less scared. Really? Can you show me? Together, they watched a spider making its web, the sun turning it into a shining work of art. Timmy's fear went away as Layla shared her trip and the powerful words that had helped her. As time went by, Layla became known across the barnyard for her fearlessness and her kind way with all animals. She would often lead the young ones on nature walks, teaching them about the world's beauty and balance. She grew into a graceful sheep, her bravery the topic of stories that Jasper would tell to new friends each spring. And sometimes, when the wind was just so, Layla would hear a familiar song, like the memory of a silver whistle, reminding her of the trip that changed everything. With each day, Layla lived her life fully, her heart as round as the moon on a clear night, and her dreams as big as the sky above.